Hello and welcome to another What Sold video. This is everything that sold for me on eBay from June 15th to June 21st because that's the only platform I made sales on for this week. I'm going to scoot over here so I can lean up against the wall and go ahead and get started. Of course, Miss Moxie is here to show you all her butt and I'm going to make her show you her face. Hello. And let's get into the sales. So the first item is this new Among Strange Victims by Daniel Saldana Harris. This is a book I got from that big book buyout, so I have 10 cents into it. It sold for my full asking price of $16.87. This is a viewer sale. Nancy, thank you so much. She purchased this slot of like required reading that I put together. Again, I will pick up these kind of books, books that are normally assigned reading at some point, either in high school or college, and then lot them together and sell them that way because I pick them up at the bins. This was a 1984 To Kill a Mockingbird and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and it sold for $11. I have 75 cents into this. And again, Nancy, thank you so much. <laughs> again, I am waving my stick at you because I sold more of this contact paper. Sold for $17.74 for two rolls, and then they paid $5 for shipping. These weigh pretty much nothing because it's paper. It's a, it's a roll of paper. So believe it or not, this photo is actually a modeling shot of me. This was my actual sweater that I had from the 90s Y2K era that I took this headshot in. And it sold for $18.88. It was 100% cashmere, and I knew exactly when it was from because it was mine. Um, this came out of that big box from my parents' house that I had uh, packed away when I moved back in like 2009 and just forgot about. So this is one of those pieces it sold for $18.88 and I like to think that my uh, my modeling shot here sold it. So this is um, those James Patterson books. This book set I picked up at the um, book sale that I got to go to, the church book sale that I got to go to. So I have a total of a dollar into this book set, which is amazing. Sold immediately when I listed it for $19.87. This is Men and Apparitions. Uh, I sold this book for $6.69. I picked this up at that big book buyout I did. I have 10 cents into this book. This is another viewer sale. This person, Eric, views not only this channel, but also my book channel. And he finally took advantage of the buy three and get one free. So Eric, I'm so glad you did it this time because it made me feel bad the last time you bought for me and you didn't. But he bought Going Postal by Terry Pratchett, a vintage copy of Swashbuckler, uh, by D.R. Benson, a new copy of Time Patrol by Paul Anderson, and then a vintage copy of Flinks and Flux by Alan Dean Foster. And he paid for those four books a total of $28.48. So when they do take advantage of buy three get one free, they do get one book free, and I get a discount on shipping, which is amazing. So Eric, thank you so much. I hope you've had an opportunity to read these books by now, because you know I'm filming this video almost <laughs> two months later. But thank you so much for buying from me. It means so much that you support not only my YouTube channels, but also my business, and I really appreciate it. This is a copy of 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is a piece of classic literary fiction. It sold for $6.87, which is my philosophy price, and I picked this up at the bins for $0.25. Cents. I talked about before, I will pick up Tahari whenever I find it, uh, especially 100% linen pieces. Well, I should say, I pick up 100% linen pieces by Tahari whenever I find them because they do sell for me. This sold for my full asking price of $17.87, and it was one of the few times I found a 1x piece. Normally I only find the straight sizing, I never find the plus sizes, so this was awesome. This is a small folder of stickers, so it was... I thought about keeping it for myself to make like handmade thank you cards for when people buy from me here on eBay and on whatnot. Uh, but when I saw that it wasn't missing any of the stickers, I just decided to go ahead and sell it. I paid 25 cents for this and it sold literally the day I listed it for $8.39. So this was awesome. This is another Ben's find. This is a pair of Dansko shoes. I will not pick up the nursing clogs anymore. I've had too many instances where like I will literally get them home and because I hate listing shoes by the time I get around to listing them they've had the dry rot issue. They didn't have them when I got them but they did by the time I listed them. So I just don't pick them up. I will however pick up trainer style shoes like these. Um, because I've also noticed that they seem to sell better for me, but that just might be because I, I like listing them better. 
I still don't like listening shoes, but I picked these up for $3.50 at the bins and it sold for $29.87, which is awesome. This is a shout out to Taylor. This came from her. She gave me a bunch of bags of clothing when she met up with me to go thrift at the bins a while ago. This is BCBG Max Azria and it sold for $7.77. Another Tahari linen piece. Perfect time of year for linens when it gets into these hot months. This sold for $13 and of course the buy pay for shipping. So happy with this. I've talked about how I love picking up my vintage knits, like the little knit tops because they're still in style right now for Gen Z. And it sold for my full asking price of $17.87. This was a 90s piece from Sag Harbor. This is another piece from my own personal closet. I cleaned out a bunch of these Loot Crate t-shirts. I like was sponsored by them briefly uh, because I am a Twitch partner and I got a bunch of them because I really just wanted the t-shirts and then like the other stuff was just bonus. But, uh, my, my arms don't fit in them anymore. A lot of them anymore because their sizing really got weird. You don't need to know any of this. Anyway, this is a Voltron shirt. It sold for $7.90. I've worn this multiple times and it sold, so hooray. This is an Aerosmith record. It sold for my full asking price of $19.87. Again, this came from that big record buyout that I did where I paid $2 per record. Uh, somebody donated their entire like amazing 70s and 80s rock collection to Goodwill or somebody donated it for them, who knows? Uh, but I, I reap the benefit from that and I've made so much money off of this. It's been awesome. This is a pair of 90s Liz sport pants. I think these came to me by way of Melissa. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't see a note in here, which I normally have a note. I think she gave these to me to see if I could wear them, but they were uh, too short in the leg and too big in the waist. But I always appreciate, I always appreciate that hope. It sold for $19.87 and Corduroy is very still on trend. So Brett gave me these postcards because he knows how much I love ephemera. This one sold for $3.50. Uh, you can be like, how in the world is it free shipping? Well, postcards can go out via the eBay uh, standard envelope program. So it actually only cost me 63 cents to ship this postcard. So, and it still has tracking and all that other stuff. So it's great. I, I love buying and selling ephemera. I still have legitimately like 85% of this case of postcards that he sent me to list, but I'm always happy and excited when I see a postcard sell. This is a free people top. Again, Karen putting in the work. Sold for $14.50. I just thought this was beautiful. Even as a small size, I figured it would sell and I was correct. Uh, I bought this for 10 cents and it sold for $7.87. I did put this up on whatnot first and it didn't sell there, but it did sell on eBay. This is a high noon western shirt. It sold for $16.87. I love selling pearl snap shirts. They sell well for me. There are a couple of brands and pearl snaps that I will not buy because they do not sell well, uh, mostly because they're brands that you could buy at like Walmart. But this sold for my full asking price and I'm really grateful for it. Again, size small, I sell all sizes mostly because I find all sizes and I'm willing to wait that little bit of extra time that it would take for them to sell. If that's not you, don't do that. This is a Lulu's dress. I know Karen doesn't necessarily look like she's putting in the work because this is a Bonnie Con dress and uh, I don't know if you know this, but Karen doesn't have any legs. So <laughs> it does look a little weird where the legs should be, but it sold for my full asking price of $16.87 and I'm really glad that it did sell. In addition to me not liking to list shoes, I also don't like to list pants and I don't like to list dresses because they take the longest for me to do. But when they do sell, it does make me very happy because it's like, yay, it was worth it. This is a Chico's piece. I just thought that this was pretty. So I picked it up. It sold for $14. I actually think I picked this up at the bins and then no one bought it for me on whatnot. So then it sold here on eBay. Perfectly happy to do that. This is one of those Hanes manuals. I pick them up whenever I find them. I've had a really good luck. Uh, the last couple months I've been going to the bins before, you know, I went on my buying hiatus of finding these regularly there. And they consistently sell for me between uh, 10 and $20. And they always sell within a week of me listing them. So I will continue to pick them up and I think they're great. 
This is a little golden book. It's The Night Before Christmas. This is from the 70s. It's very cute, very cute graphics. These are actually the illustrations inside this copy were from the 1950s, which is why it looks even older than the 70s, um, because of the fact it was using the original illustrations. Uh, the actual book is from the 70s. Sold for my full ASCII price of $8.47. So I'm selling Christmas in June because it was super cute. But that is everything. You can see that this video is actually a little bit shorter because, well, the beginning of June was really good. About now is when the summer slowdown hit me. But yeah, you know, I had hoped to avoid it. Didn't. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sales are picking up back up now that I'm on this buying hiatus and literally listing my butt off. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you all in the next video. Until then, bye!